we introduce the Grassmann average for robust PCA. Our key idea is to phrase subspace estimation as an average of all subspaces spanned by the data. To develop this, we first note that in a zero-mean dataset, each observation spans a one-dimensional subspace. These one-dimensional subspaces can be represented as a unit vector with an unknown sign. The space consisting of one-dimensional subspaces can, thus, be constructed by identifying opposing points on the unit sphere. The resulting space is an instance of the Grassmann manifold. Since each observation spans a subspace, we can think of each of those as being a point on the Grassmann manifold. So, to compute the average subspace, we only have to compute the average on the Grassmann manifold. Here's how we compute this Grassmann average. First, we sample a random subspace representing our initial estimate of the average subspace. We then pick signs for each unit vector, representing the observed subspaces, such that they are as close as possible to the current estimate. We compute the average of these sign vectors and let that be the updated estimate of the average subspace. We repeat this procedure and quickly arrive at our final estimate. In the paper, we prove that this simple algorithm does indeed compute the average subspace, that the result coincides with PCA for Gaussian data, and that the algorithm is generally more robust than PCA, as it optimizes an L1 style energy function. But we can do better. If our data has a large proportion of outliers, the results will be effective. Since we are only computing an average subspace, we can increase robustness using robust averages, such as trimmed averages or medians. Here we use a median as an illustration, which gives us a robust subspace estimate. The details of the robust average should be chosen according to the outlier patterns of the application. In the paper, we provide a simple and fast solution, which is robust to pixel-wise outliers as they commonly occur in computer vision. See the paper for derivations, proofs and algorithms and see the companion video for empirical results. Thank you for watching.